Thanks for checking out FalconCast, a podcast series about immigration written, recorded, and produced by 8th grade students at St. Mary's and Ivy World School in Orange County, California. Hello, my name is Logan, and today joining me on the FalconCast is my grandpa, Jerry Paloni, here to share his immigration story from Italy to Canada. So let's start from the beginning. How was your life before immigrating from Italy to Canada? My life before emigrating to Canada was pretty good. I was born in a small village, uh, Castrovignano, in 1943, towards the end of the Second World War. As a child, I grew up in the farm. I attended five years school in the village and five years in the monastery. Mm-hmm. So, what kind of work did you do on the farm? Well, in the farm, uh, what I did, I, I had to take care of uh, the sheep, mm-hmm. the some animals there, and uh, I had to help my mother uh, to do things around the house, and uh, sometimes I need to help my father too. Did you have any siblings growing up? Yeah, I had uh, two, and they're younger than me. So if your life was so good in Italy, then how come you immigrated to Canada? Uh, in Italy, in that, uh, uh, in that year after the war, okay, Italy suffered a lot. There was no jobs, no enough food, uh, and so many other things. So everyone went to emigrate for a better life. They emigrated. They, they want to emigrate somewhere, not in Italy, because Italy really doesn't matter from north to mm-hmm. south. Uh, was a problem because the war, the, when during the war, uh, Italy was almost destroyed. It. Um. So, how how did you enter the country? How did you enter Canada? I emigrated to Canada in 1964. Um, to meet uh, Grazia, which today is my wife. I meet her, or she meet me, <laughs> there in Italy before mm-hmm. she emigrated in 1962. All right. So um, how did um, Grandma, so did Grandma sponsor you to come to Canada? Yeah, ma, she, in order to emigrate in Canada, somebody had to sponsor you. Sponsoring, that means people they need to take care of you. Somebody need to take care of you to emigrate there, mm-hmm. to to take responsibility. If you cannot, if you cannot uh, uh, have job, and uh, whatever you needed, somebody has to sponsor you there. Did the government give you like a the sponsorship? The government doesn't give you nothing. That's why you need somebody to sponsor you. Oh, okay. So, what kind of like transportation did you take to get into Canada? Well, I didn't have no enough. I didn't have no. I didn't have no money there. So I went to Canada with um, with uh, few cents in my pocket there. So I couldn't take the uh, airplane because it was too expensive to go uh, with airplane from from me to Canada. So I, I took the boat. So I went from I left Naples in Italy. I went to Halifax to um, to uh, to Canada. So it took us, took us maybe 10 days on the boat and two days from Canada to Toronto by train. Halifax Pier 21 in Nova Scotia was one of the main entry points for immigrants from Europe migrating to Canada in the 1950s and 60s. Between 20 to 30,000 Italian immigrants entered through Halifax and from 1928 to 1971, around 1.5 million immigrants entered through Halifax Pier 21. So, when did the rest of your family immigrate to Canada? So, I immigrated then in 1964 uh, because my wife sponsored me. So, my the rest of my family, my aunt was sponsoring them. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, they immigrated in the same year, both all my family. Okay, so you had to provide for your wife and your personal gain. So what kind of jobs did you have while in Canada? 
in, in Canada, I had many jobs, mm. okay? And the first year, really, I had uh, uh, 16 jobs. But I was working maybe a few days in one place, a few other day to another place, till, because I never find that the job I really like it. Mm-hmm. So um, was there ever a job like after the first year of you in Canada that kind of caught your attention? Yeah, but I find a job, I really like it because that's what I was doing back in Italy there. When I was in Italy, I went doing, a, I did 10 years school. So I started school when I was five or six. So I finished when, when I was 15 or 16. So you didn't really have like a high school to like learn anything? You didn't really go to high school? Yeah, that was high school. Uh, this, uh, monastery. Yeah, oh, your was monastery high, was your yeah, high school? Well, yeah, monastery was my high school. So wait, what was your job while you're in Italy? So and then when I finished when I came uh, when I finished uh, that school there, I went to work. So I work as a, 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 not an electrician because I didn't have, I was not a, an, a, an electrician. I was an apprentice. So I was wor- working with somebody there uh, with wires. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I was doing there. So when I went to Canada, I was looking for a job there. I find a job as a electrician, mm-hmm. as an apprentice, because you need five years of uh, the apprentice to be an electrician. So uh, I had three and a half years there, and uh, three or four years there in, uh, in Italy there, and one year there in Canada, I had to go, I had to work as apprentice. After I finished apprentice, I got my electrician uh, license. Um. So, after having all those jobs, when you enter Canada, was there any like, um, were, did any people treat you unfairly, or was there any judge mm. anybody being judgmental? In you any know, way? really, I never had this kind of problem. Maybe you know, people they immigrated from Italy be, much before me that problem. But when when uh, I immigrated to Canada, and people they really respect me. They gave me a lot of opportunity, so I didn't have no problem. Thank you for tuning in on Falcon Cast with us today. I would like to thank Jerry Paoloni for being an amazing guest on the show. Goodbye, and we hope you enjoy. Mambo Italiano, to, to, to. Big stuff is Italiano. All you calabrese do the mambo like a crazy. Hey,